2013 has been an incredible year as far as technology and smartphones are concerned. Phones became more powerful, bigger and better. However, it wasn't the same case about the companies manufacturing them. A lot of the companies saw ups while a few of them saw downs. Amongst the companies that looked down the barrel were the ones that once dominated the mobile phone industry, Nokia and BlackBerry. Nokia has already been acquired by Microsoft while BlackBerry almost sold itself before being revived by external funding. The fail of these giants has paved the way for lesser known manufacturers into the market. Among the companies making their way to the larger market, the Chinese brands are the ones to watch out for. There are a huge number of Chinese smartphone manufacturers, but only a few are known to the people outside China. Amongst these companies are Oppo, Lenovo, Huawei, Xiaomi, ZTE, Meizu and Xiaomi. During 2013, China overtook USA as the largest smartphone market, and that is an indication of what to expect in 2014. The population of China is huge when compared to that of USA and hence the scope for smartphone market is even bigger in China especially considering the fact that the Chinese are finally beginning to adopt smartphones. In the international smartphone market, Samsung, a South Korean company, is at the top because of its Galaxy series of phones. But three companies in the top 5 are Chinese manufacturers: Lenovo, ZTE and Huawei. These companies are yet to go global on a full scale and we are sure that they would prove a tough lot to compete with when they go global. While the previous three manufacturers control the market with various smartphone models, a few companies stick to very few models but make sure that they are worth buying. This list includes Oppo, Meizu and Xiaomi. Oppo phones are already available all across the globe, but they're shipped from China based on orders. However, Oppo is trying to open various stores across the planet to have a greater reach for its smartphones. Oppo is on its way to India and is sorting out logistical issues at the moment. Meizu is also set to set foot in the US smartphone market as it has a huge show in the CES 2014 in Las Vegas where it will be showing off some US specific smartphones. During 2013, Hugo Barra, the original leader for the Android project, left Google to work for Xiaomi, and under his reign, Xiaomi are expected to spread out to the rest of the world. In India, the situation is unstable. Nokia is still a very dominant player in India because of its feature phones and also Nokia's affordable Windows phones. The Lumia 520 is one of the most sold devices this year. Samsung is still dominating the Android market in India but is facing a very tough competition from local manufacturers like Zolo, Micromax, Carbon, Cellcon and the list goes on. But we also have a couple of Chinese manufacturers in India including Xiaomi and Lenovo. and both of them enjoy a presence in the indian market with zte and huawei testing the waters with a small portfolio lenovo's k900 was a huge hit here with jioni's e life series getting a big push recently especially the launch of e life e7 the top end flagship from the phone in 2014 though we expect all these chinese manufacturers to go global and make an impact on the smartphone market with that said we are looking forward to hearing what you have to say Do let us know in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe buttons for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.